Now, in other news, Neil McBride, the U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia, is leaving his post. McBride's office is currently in the national spotlight for a probe into Virginia Governor Bob McDonald and his family for, for allegedly accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars in gifts and loans from the CEO of a dietary supplement with regulatory business in the state. He is also known for the prosecution of CIA whistleblower John Kiriakou and told the New York Times that the clandestine agency's systemic torture program his prosecution of Kim.com and his website, Mega Upload, for copyright infringement, racketeering, conspiracy, money laundering, and more. He filed charges against NSA leaker Edward Snowden under the Espionage, Espionage Act and is heading up the investigation into transparency organization WikiLeaks. Now, his exit after serving four years as USDA will most certainly raise questions about the status of those investigations. Now, here to discuss McBride's speedy exit and the high-profile cases he oversaw while serving as the U.S. attorney is RT web producer Andrew Blake. How are you doing today, Andrew? Fantastic, Aaron. Now, I want to start off by asking you, is this a hasty decision um, for McBride's resina resignation, was this in the works or is this totally out of left field? I mean, it seems like it really came to a surprise to most people, especially given the cases that he's working on right now. Like you just said, he was actually in charge of filing that indictment against Edward Snowden, and of course, you know, he's on the other side of the world right now and it's not working out too well. He's also involved in the indictment against WikiLeaks, which has been several years in the making now and is an ongoing case. He's involved in the indictment against Kim.com and Mega Upload, which, again, that's a year and a half in the, um, since it was filed and it's just hanging out. So who is going to take over these things? Who is going to, to follow up with these cases? Who is going to prosecute these people for the U.S. government? It's a, it's a really good question. And uh, I think it was rather unexpected. He's only been there for four years. He was appointed by President Obama early on in that administration. And he's really put his nose in a lot of places during that time. So I was, I mean, in particularly me, I was taken aback by this. I was rather surprised because here's someone who I've been following relatively closely because he's involved in a lot of cases that I think uh, could have major repercussions for everyone worldwide, not just in the U.S., not just in the Eastern District of Virginia. He's, he's in charge of cases like with, with WikiLeaks, which will have massive ramifications for journalism and with democracy, the mega upload case ramifications for, for the, the Internet. So um, I, he hasn't quite said yet why he did this or where he's going to go or what he's going to do after this. Um, but I, I think a, a few people were actually taken aback by this, and myself included. Right. Now, it seems like McBride, McBride he's mm. uh, kind of, he's involved in trying many cases under the espionage mm. umbrella, if you will. Mm. Is that a departure from other people who held his job before him? Well, I don't know if that's something that you could personally blame Neil McBride for. Um, if anything, I think you should look at the Obama administration itself. Uh, of course, during the last five and a half years, President Obama has prosecuted more people under the Espionage Act for, leak or for allegedly leaking, leaking excuse me, state secrets than every other president combined twice over. Um, there's been a pattern during the last couple of years that seems to continue every few months, um, but believe it or not, where different people who take information and put out in the public are being called spies. And Neil McBride has been spearheading that campaign under the Obama administration's umbrella. I'm not sure if that's going to continue without him. Um, it's a lot of people have been saying that sets a really dangerous precedent what they've been doing, especially like with the WikiLeaks case. Um, you know, the WikiLeaks investigation is still rather mysterious. There's a grand jury uh, sealed indictment. There's been all sorts of testimonies that no one knows about. It's completely separate from the PFC Bradley Manning uh, court martial that had concluded um, it was filed by the, by the U.S. government. Um, you know, actually investigating WikiLeaks as taken the Eastern District Court into a position where they've been pursuing charges or at least investigations against people all over the world, not American citizens, citizens in, in Iceland, in, in Sweden, in the UK. And um, it's, 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 it's shocking to see that the U.S. government can be charging people who are not U.S. citizens with espionage. Right. Now, critics of McBride, they say that he engages in prosecutorial overreach. Um, for instance, you know, the, the Kim.com. You yeah. went to New Zealand to meet with that organization. Yeah. Can you tell us... Uh, what they had to say about McBride's prosecution? Well, I don't think you really have to ask Kim.com or, or Mega Upload about the, the prosecution because um, from an outsider's perspective, I think it was you know, ridiculously over the top. Here is, and you know, I mentioned earlier that you know, I think it's outrageous that you can take a, someone outside the U.S. and charge them with espionage, but I guess essentially that is what espionage is. But the, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that the U.S. government has been going after a lot of people outside of the U.S. and prosecuting them and uh, attempting to convict them 
for crimes that aren't illegal in those jurisdictions. With the mega upload case, we saw the FBI coordinating a raid with New Zealand authorities that ended with dozens of agents on helicopters coming off of Kim.com's roof while his family was asleep and, and just detaining everyone, seizing all of his possessions, all of his money. This is a New Zealand uh, citizen the other side of the world, literally the other side of the world, who was running a website that people all over the world, in the U.S. included, were, were using. And that's something like with the WikiLeaks case. Can the U.S. really go out there and take a journalist, in this case Julian Assange or any of his associates, and charge them with espionage when they're just running a journalistic endeavor on the other side of the world? It's, it's, it's a bit silly, but it's, it's definitely something that we've been seeing under the reign of Neil McBride. That was Archie web producer Andrew Blake. Thank you, Andrew.